Okay, everyone, I'm going to show you a cool little thing I learned in uh, Blender here. And uh, let me just set up everything. Okay, um, I'm just going to add a simple object, just add a cube. And uh, then let's go ahead and texture this cube. Uh, first, I'm going to split the... Oh, let me change the display to GLSL. And I'll change our texture mode to textured. That way we can see the texture on the cube when we add it to it. And then let's go ahead and bring up the UV window. So I'll just split my view here. And oops, let's change this to UV image editor. All right, so now we got our two views. And uh, let's go ahead and tab in our edit mode and create some UVs. I'll just hit U and I'll go for smart UV project. So it creates the UVs for us. Now let's go ahead and give this a material. Click over to Material tab and give it a new material. Uh, click on the Texture tab and give it a new texture. I'll change that to Image. I'm going to add an image. Let's go to my Images folder. Okay, I'm going to choose. Um, I'll click on this button here so I can sh show my thumbnails. I'll choose an image that has a very definite pattern so that we can see it animating easily over the um, object here. I'll just go for this these green triangles here. Okay, so I can see the green triangles on there, but they're not mapped yet correctly. So I'll go down to mapping and I'll choose UVs. All right, so now we can see that the green triangles are actually um, uh, wrapped on there. And it's not a very good wrapping job because I'm not concerned about that right now. But uh, let's go ahead and let me show you the new uh, little technique I found. If you go in here uh, in your toolbar and you kind of uh, scroll down, you'll, you'll find a section called Anim All. And you'll see by default it just says Shape. But uh, basically this lets you animate uh, things other than what you would normally do like shape animation. So I'm going to check mark UVs. And I'm going to select all these UVs here. And then I will go ahead and... Uh, I'm on frame one right now. I'll just hit uh, insert a keyframe. Okay, it doesn't look like anything happened, but uh, let me go ahead and scroll to a, a new time frame. Go to frame 20, and then I'll just move these UVs around. I'll insert another keyframe. All right, now I'll scroll back to frame zero. Now um, you you'll say, well, it doesn't look like when you're scrolling through there that anything happened because we're still in edit mode. So if I tab out of edit mode, you'll see now that keyframes have been set here in the little timeline. So if I just drag through this, you'll see that we have, in fact, animated the UVs. So we can, you, this is a way that you can animate a texture uh, moving across an object. Okay, uh, This would be great for like a, like a, a sign or you know animated billboard or something like that. Um, so there's there you could do like water or lava or something like that just get a texture uh, get some UVs and, and do this animation trick and it's that simple it's just a matter of just going down to um, animal and turning on UVs and inserting your keyframes and then of course if you don't like the animation you can just hit clear animation and then when we scroll through here you'll see that the uh, UV animation is gone so that is a neat little trick and I hope that helps you out